Hello, everyone, and we're back at KubeCon EU 2024 in Paris. But this time around, it's not a thoughtless stream. We've got Pete Swells. Hi, Pete. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. A little tired. Got the KubeCon buzz working. Ah, but I thought you were a little energized by all the new buzz that's there from the Ranta side of things, and I thought you were excited about this interview. Oh, I'm, I'm, I just made my day, made my week. I've been looking forward to it. Oh. I love this. my favorite part of the show every year. I know, because last time around at Amsterdam, I remember you were so pumped when you came in to announce Rancher Academy. I almost uh, I almost worried you might need a caffeine shot later on from all the energy that you gave out there. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm, you, anybody who knows me for five minutes knows I'm always, this is me really tired. Okay, you can imagine me when I'm not really tired, okay? <laughs> yes, I've seen both sides of it. And yeah. he's exactly the same. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so there's been a huge focus on platform engineering in general at KubeCon and otherwise. Like platform engineering is the buzzword these days. So I know that Rancher and Rancher Prime are, you know, enabling our customers to, um, you know, better manage their cloud native workloads by giving them a cohesive platform and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, and I've also heard a little birdie tell me about the latest version of Rancher Prime come through with some new capabilities. Are you able to delve into that? I can absolutely delve into that. Great show. We love coming to KubeCon because for us, it's about our open source community and our enterprise customers are equally important to us. So we're going to continue to drive our open source ethos, continue to innovate, provide for our community. But at the same time, we need to make sure that we're delivering all the capabilities that we need to be delivering for enterprise customers. And at the end of the day, if you saw our tagline for the launch of Ranch Prime 3, yep. which is what we're here talking about. Yep. It was basically Ranch Prime 3, platform engineering team's best friend. Yeah. Okay. Because it really is about, ultimately, it is about enabling them to operate simply and consistently at scale. So we've got some cool enhancements. Let me start at the start. It all starts with trust and delivery, right? It all starts with how you get your software and how you manage that software. So big announcements for this week. Number one, we've updated our salsa compliance Salsa certification with Rancher 3, Rancher Prime 3, excuse me. That's number one. Number two is we've enhanced our life cycle. Okay, so the feedback we got was we wanted to be more closely aligned, our, our life cycle, our Rancher Prime life cycle with our customer's life cycle, which ultimately rolls back to Kubernetes upstream. Yep. So we've enhanced our life cycle. We've updated that life cycle very closely aligned to the upstream Kubernetes cycle, gives our customers a consistent, repeatable, Bit, you know, model for life cycle. Something they've really been excited about. We're happy to deliver it and getting some very positive feedback. So again, that's just sort of core foundational stuff we needed to do. Important. So we included it in Prime 3. The second piece of the puzzle really is directly about what you just said. Enabling platform engineering that's teams. It's a yeah. core constituent for us, clearly for, you know, first platform engineering day, I think you said, right? Yeah. So obviously it's a focus for KubeCon overall. So we've done a couple things on that front. Number one is about enabling platform engineering teams to provide and deliver self-service paths, okay? Yeah. Platform as a service. So if you small step back on that, if you look at it, there's a snowflake issue that customers have with paths. So platform as a service is, yes. you know, it's basically DevOps, play, right? Yeah, so yeah. problem is everybody wants to do paths, but everybody wants to have their own kind of paths. So yeah. there, there's no singular opinion that's going to solve everybody's problems. True. And so you've got platform engineering teams that we had, we had our customer advisory board earlier this week, which we conducted all KubeCons. And, you know, we heard a bunch of different customers and it was 2X, the number of different permutations of paths. So the right approach for us is not to be overly opinionated, but to enable self-service paths. So Good. the platform engineering teams can serve up, give the people what they want. Good. The way we're doing that is number one, through the GA of CAPI, which is cluster API yep. and cluster classes. And those two, in, working in unison, integrated directly into the Rancher UI, okay. enables platform engineering teams to basically define, okay, provision certain cluster classes, literally as it sounds, yeah. you know, so it's, you define different sets of classes with whatever the pieces of the puzzle are that you need service mesh or whatever the pieces of that cluster class need to be, you can define it once and then using fleet, you know, which is the core part of Rancher Prime, Exactly. You can basically push those clusters out. People can self-provision them. They can do whatever they want with them. But it essentially creating these different classes 
of clusters. And, and basically the CAPI is the provision piece of this. Cluster class is the definitional piece. Fleet is the underlying engine that helps you do this so that then you can run all different types of classes easily. And then more importantly is, let's say that you change the definition. You have to update the definition of a particular class to, for some particular reason. You update the class once, and then Rancher Prime basically just automates, disseminates through Fleet and pushes those all back out and updates the cluster class downstream. So it it's all about- so seamless. It is. No, it's very cool. And it's all integrated directly into Rancher Prime UI. And that's again about consistency of operations. So that's how you can drive scale. So that was, that's bucket number one on sort of the really getting into the meat of the platform engineering. The second one that we're equally excited about is what we call the Rancher Prime Application Collection or APCO. You'll hear us talk about APCO. What's APCO? It's the Rancher Application Collection. This is all about expanding our ecosystem and by delivering curated applications, open source applications, curated applications so that platform engine teams and DevOps teams can basically integrate that directly into their CI CD, into their, into their workflows, essentially for the deployment and management of apps. So what we've done is there's about 20 applications in the initial bucket. We take the open source code. Okay. We rebase it on Slee Micro. Hmm. So by doing so, you get all of the attestations from a secure supply chain. You get all the goodness of SUSE's 30 year heritage in Linux and all of the attestations and security levels and certifications for those apps. We curate them, get all the attestations. We then make them available through the catalog, the collection itself. And then you can pull them out, basically again, then tie them into your pipelines, build it into your overall workflow. So it's another way of helping streamline and automate and also provide this broader ecosystem of applications that we'll stand behind because we've rebased them, you know, on our secure supply chain software and on our, on our operating system, which is the best operating system, if you will, for cloud native workloads. Absolutely. So that's and... what app collection's about. Oh, and one last thing I forgot on that one. The cool thing is that a big part of that is also things like CV, CVE management and such. Yeah. So as things happen in the upsource and the open source code, we'll detect that and basically make notifications downstream to the applications that are running. So those, up, those applications can be updated with latest security patches and that kind of stuff. So it's a means of getting them out there, but also then manage them going forward in a curated, secure way. I was just reminded of uh, this weird thing that I happened to say, and this was not even planned at the Cloud Native Rejects. This was one of the last oh. slides that I actually put up. Um, and I did not intend to speak on behalf of SUSE when I did it, but I think I'm really glad I did. Uh, when we said that, um, and I said that um, at, at our core, we believe in leveraging the expertise of other open source projects Absolutely. to give people uh, what they want and allow people to customize and build with what they want. Because sure, we could have the budget and hire the best engineers all across the board. But we realize that if we want to go together, I mean, if we want to go far, we need to go together. and. Yeah. If we want to go faster, we could do it all alone, right? But well, I think all you had to do is if you just added the choice, hap you know, choice happens, yeah. you know, logo there, then you would have absolutely been speaking on behalf of Susan. Yeah. That, I mean, that is our motto, right? Yeah. And, and it's sort of closing on that note. I mean, the heart of Rancher, what, you know, Rancher Prime, what makes us different, what our customers really love is the combination of incredible simplicity, you know, the ability to run your operations consistently at scale, from data center to multiple clouds out to the edge. They love that, but they also love the complete flexibility. So we're prescriptive. We're not overly opinionated. We're not going to lock you in. And at the same time, we have that same exact belief in ethos and open source, yeah. which is that we're going to provide the best container management platform exactly. in the industry. But the way to create the, the best container management platform is by having the best extensible ecosystem. Yeah. So AFCO is part, you know, we have the old Helm chart. We have the catalog that already yeah. exists. We've now added the APCO, APCO which is yeah. expanding that way. And then we also have our UI extensions, which Absolutely. we're not making any specific announcements about now, but you go check it out. There's all kinds of inter inter interesting integrations Happening directly in the rancher, over, yeah. in the UI. And actually to close on the one thing I forgot to mention is that more and more of our customers are consuming, you know, this ecosystem. They're consuming more and more parts of the Rancher Prime portfolio. Persistent storage, OS management, security, VM management. These are all core tenants of our platform. 
And so to ease consumption on that and acquisition, we've actually introduced this week as what we call Rancher Enterprise. Yep. Okay. And Rancher Enterprise is essentially, it's a SKU. It's, 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 it makes it very simple for customers to acquire the entire portfolio. So you've got Rancher Prime, where you can also then add on whatever components that you'd like to, to fill out the entire, you know, com- equation, so to speak. But then the other side of the equation is Rancher Enterprise for those organizations leveraging a large percentage of the portfolio, very simple acquisition process. And again, it's yeah. all about making it easy. In this case, making it easy to acquire, making it easy to avoid. Yeah. And thank you so much for that wonderful parting message, because I think it's, it's all about making choice happen for all our customers. You I- thank you so much. And I hope you have a less hectic and more peaceful cube gone ahead. Well, and- I wouldn't say peaceful or <laughs> restful. I don't know if those are the words I would use for, but it's, but it's a whale of a good time, isn't it? There's so much good yes. stuff happening. I have such a good time here. It's been a really great event. It's always fun to be chatting. So. It's always fun to be chatting with you, Pete. Thank you so much for being on here. Have a good Thank one. Thank you. Take care. Take care.